Well, Megan, the Jean Leahy Mall is not illuminated, but come Thanksgiving, more than 40 city blocks will light up. And while it will surely be a sight for thousands of people, Food Bank for the Heartland wants to remind everyone what those lights symbolize and what the season is all about. Pallets of food leave this food bank as fast as they arrive. We distribute our food to about 285 different nonprofit organizations throughout the uh, Nebraska and Western Iowa. 218,000 local people have no idea where their next meal will come from. That's a lot of families who are depending on the food bank of the Heartland to find the funds in order to purchase and distribute food. Last year, uh, we spent approximately $2.2 million purchasing food. So that's uh, a good chunk of where financial contributions that we receive, that's what we'll do with it, is, is buy food. Development director Brian Bark says suppliers that once donated a surplus of food are tightening donations. You know, as a food company, we take hunger very seriously. That's forcing the organization to rely on public and corporate donations more than ever. Approximately 20% of the revenue that the food bank receives will come during the months of November and December. KMTV, Star 104.5 and ConAgra are sponsoring this year's Shine the Light on Hunger campaign, which Barks estimates will raise about $300,000. All of this money and all of these resources come together um, to go toward our goal of generating 1.3 million meals for those in need. And ConAgra's much-anticipated ice rink will open December 12th and operate through January 4th. That cost is $5, and they will be collecting food and money donations for the food bank. Reporting live, Rebecca at KMTV Action 3 News.